Hi, this is Chip Conley, and I'm coming to you from the Modern Elder Academy campus in Baja. So I'm going to give you three tips for how to actually uh, approach a career transition uh, in 2023, based upon what we've learned here at MEA. The first one is find a friend and ask them to ask the following question five times. What mastery or gift do you offer the world? Now, the first time you answer it, it may be sort of obvious. But then when you answer it the second time, because you can't answer the same way twice, you're going to do a little bit deeper archaeological dig into what's the essence that makes you different. By the time you get to the fifth, you might be like me, where I actually came up on my fifth question to say, oh, I'm a social alchemist. I'm a mixologist of people. And that has had a huge role in my career ever since. All right, second tip is if you're my age, I'm 62, you may be 52, you may be 42, but in any of those cases, you might feel like, ah, oh, I'm, I'm too old, people are gonna look at me as an old person. Show up with curiosity and passionate engagement. Um, be able to have people see, not your wrinkles, but your energy. Because what people notice is a person's energy, and they don't necessarily notice your age um, if you show up with that kind of openness to new experience and curiosity about life. And finally, most importantly, Understand the through line of your life. Uh, your life has been a hero's journey. Study Joseph Campbell's work to understand how do you make sense of the career path you've been on, especially if there's been a gap in your career. Be able to tell the story of what you've learned along the way succinctly, but also compellingly, like it's almost like a novel. Uh, if you can do those three things, I promise you, you're gonna survive a career transition in 2023 better than you would if you didn't do these three things. So I wish you all the best this year. Hope you'll come see us at the Modern Elder Academy in Baja.